you watched my previous video, you will be very familiar with this particular bridge. This is the exact bridge that was built during that hour plus video, so I won't go into any of the details here. If you're interested, I'd recommend checking out that full build video to see exactly how I built this and what materials were used. The new information is that it dried out to 9.53 grams as expected and held a very nice 19.54 kilograms for a competition score of 2098.6. This is a really nice result. With that much excess load capacity, this bridge could have easily been tested multiple times to 15 kilograms before a competition and would have guaranteed a great result on test day. Here is the bridge right before testing at 9.53 grams. Now I'm starting the loading process. I knew it was fairly well built and I trusted the design, so I was hoping for over 15 kilograms, but you never know what will happen before you actually test it. If you are building these devices for actual competition, you don't want to load them to over 15 kilograms. I'm only doing that here to see the failure point for further optimizations and to get nice high speed footage for this video. You can hear me running out of sand in my primary bucket at around 17 and a half kilograms. Using my extra sand this time around was enough to break it at just over 19 and a half kilograms. The live footage of the braking happened so fast, it's really nice to be able to see things at 3000 frames per second. It looks like the back left leg breaks first. There is definitely room for future material optimization to get the weight down even further. Getting the final 10-15% to 15 mass reduction is where it gets challenging, but also a lot of fun. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or have any recommendations for topics you'd like me to cover in future videos.